needed crisis care, and these tools provide our state with a safety net to back up high-quality, person-centered care. Also, after hearing from many of you, as well as our federal partners, we're taking decisive action to empower the vocational rehabilitation community to better serve Georgians with disabilities. We heard your voice and are now moving legislation that will make vocational rehab a stand-alone program attached to the Department of Human Services. This will operate much the same. This will operate much the same as the Brain and Spinal Injury Trust Fund does with the Department of Public Health and as the EPD does with the Department of Natural Resources. This move will give new priority to this work. It will help us ensure that we're using funds efficiently and taking advantage of all outside assistance. But even more than budgeting prioritization and efficiency, making vocational rehab a standalone program led by vocational rehab experts is about helping this work reach its potential and better serve tens of thousands of Georgians. According to the U.S. Department of Education, our program has now fallen to 49th in the nation when it comes to placing individuals with severe disabilities and jobs. This statistic is just one clear indication that we have a lot of work to do when it comes to serving those with moderate and severe disabilities. We can't settle for the status quo, and making vocational rehab a standalone program is the first big step in the right direction. This new structure will give the decision-making powers to be put in the hands of experts who understand vocational rehabilitation. They will usher in a new era of transparency and accountability. This is big government getting out of the way, allowing direct management by those who are closest to the work. This move will ensure that monies allotted for the disabled community will be used more efficiently and with no commingling of funds. Unfortunately, this, uh, excuse me, ultimately, this transformation will result in more jobs for disabled Georgians seeking to ready themselves for the workforce. Again, this is a coordinated effort, and we have worked closely with federal officials to ensure that there will be no loss of funds, no loss of jobs, and no disruption of service. I want to thank so many of you for your input and your partnership on this issue. I believe this will help vocational rehab reach its potential. Going forward, we will need your sustained support. Now, we have a broad-based plan to improve care for Georgians. But you folks who work every day in the disability community truly represent the opportunity for success in our state. And I want to thank you for partnering with our state as we work to empower Georgians with disabilities to stay well, active, safe, and integrated into our communities. Thank you for caring, and thank you for all that you do every day.